you to join me today for another episode of Arts and Crafts Projects. Today I'm going to show you two projects that I'm working on. So consider this as show and tell. I'll produce uh, and put other videos that kind of show you step by step how I got to this stage of my dollhouse project. But for right now, I want you to just take a peek. This is a sneak peek, let's call it show and tell for today, of the art, really cool arts and crafts projects that you can do yourself. Now, the dollhouse project is really an advanced level project. Let me go over here and get something for you that I want you to see. I found these really groovy plans on the internet on how to uh, make this dollhouse get it cut out of wood. Um, to build these types of dollhouses, you only need one sheet of plywood, and you can get them to actually cut it for you at the hardware stores for little or no charge. They might charge you like 50 cents a cut. Now, the one thing they're not going to do at the hardware store, they're not going to do these angle cuts for you. So, hang on, let me grab something else. <laughs> store, uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, any of the, I guess they call them the big box stores, they'll cut out the pieces of wood for you with only straight edges. Nothing that is an angle. Okay, so for that, you either need to get a Dremel tool or a scroll saw or a hand saw, but obviously, like with a scroll saw, you really have to know how to operate that. And I may, I've been looking for someone to show me how. All of these cuts I did with either my Dremel tool or I did it with a little hand saw. Okay, let me set these aside. So, one eight and a half by 11 sheet of plywood can allow you to create a really big dollhouse. It's very sturdy. I also use some um, Gorilla Glue, which is really good. I've never used that before, but it's really a good product. Um, and as you can see, I kind of started on little shingles for the roof. Um, and this was just using um, some scrapbooking paper. Because this is going to be indoors. Let me turn it around. And these are the dollhouse rooms. As you can tell, I was pretty much just experimenting with paint colors. Oh, and did you know you can get these little... Let me show you. These little paint samples... Um, for a couple of dollars, and it even comes with a little brush. Can't quite get this open now. Oh, yeah, get it open. And it even comes with a little brush already for you. So you can try out different paint colors uh, for your dollhouse, interior rooms. I strongly suggest you paint with a primer uh, of uh, type of paint. We'll get into that later. But anyway. Something else I had learned the hard way is you really need to build your dollhouses to scale. Because when you're doing the doors, doorways and stuff, you need to think kind of maybe the end result, the types of dolls that a child would use for your dollhouse. And here I actually started making a little set of stairs, but I'll show you that in another video. Now this dollhouse, I had decided that instead of cutting a lot of the things out, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute, I'm going to paint on the different decorations, the, the windows, the doors, and all of that. Now let me just scoop this back over here to the other side, out of the way. And this is the old table I picked up at a thrift store. Okay, the other dollhouse I started on. Sorry, I am the messiest crafter in the world. They actually have the windows and doors at the craft shop and you just glue them on. You just cut out some spaces in your wood and you just glue them on. Now let me turn this around. So you can see this dollhouse is really unfinished. Um, but it's a work in progress. I've been working on so many other projects and actually trying to get my garage space here cleaned up so I can work more on the dollhouses. Um, but it's really fun. I'm finding that doing, making these dollhouses is really fun. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be. 
And like I said, I'm gonna create videos for each of the steps, but I kind of wanted to make sure I could finish a couple of the dollhouses first. So I hope that you will stay tuned. Uh, if you look in the link, uh, the, the writing below, I'm gonna give you the link to the layout, the cutting guide, where I found it on another website. So if you wanted to go ahead and start on your dollhouse, you could do that, okay? So once again, show and tell. Little, these cute little dollhouses I made. Oh, and these are some great little pieces of wood that they have at the um, craft shop. And I just glued those on for the windows. And they also have these little wooden pieces in the like wood uh, aisle in the craft shop. And these worked out really well. I actually also got some trim from the hardware store. And as you can see, I love the little doors. These things are a little hard to cut out. Um, so if you have someone, a friend who's really good with wood, have them to help you. Otherwise, you've got to use a handsaw and it's going to take some time. Like I said, this is really an advanced project. Um, it's going to take you more than a day or a weekend. But like I said, I'm going to be putting out some more videos about this particular dollhouse project. So I hope you'll stay tuned. I hope you'll keep watching. And have a great day. Bye. See you next time.